example, when you see an aircraft, there's people changing loads. So there's people plugging in stuff, there's people switching on lights, so they're on fans, and there's the uh, hostess just making you some coffee or something. So that means that the power consumption by the aircraft is constantly changing. What we are trying to do here in this project is to create the clean and efficient energy for the commercial aircraft. This device here is called a real-time digital simulator. So what we use this to is to emulate an actual aircraft. Our goal from day one was that we were going to develop a commercial product as a result of the funding that we obtained. You gotta be able to solve the right problems and solve it well, and that's why we need to work with industry closely. With this prototype, people can see uh, where we're going in future. with the company and the way we collaborate is we provide the technology ideas and they help us formulate the right problems and that's how we have the, the best combination. I'm interested in the environment so I did want to be involved with the Jakarta program from a fuel cell standpoint and from an environmental standpoint. One of the biggest challenges on taking a new technology and, and putting it on the airplane is you can have a great technology but you've got to interface that technology with the airplane. What we are trying to do is to use the technology of fuel cells and trying to serve the electrical load on the aircraft. So what we're doing is integrating electrical energy provided by batteries with the electrical energy that's coming from the fuel cell. And that will provide a more efficient energy for the aircraft, which is good because it cut down the cost. And that will also be cleaner because this will produce less emissions. We have five faculty members in the team. Uh, myself, I'm in electrical engineering, and also Dr. Srivastava, also in electrical engineering. Uh, Dr. Ali Maritsi Sani, he's a power electronics specialist. And uh, then we have Dr. Suha from chemical engineering, and we have Dr. Norton from uh, material science, uh, mechanical engineering, material science. And that covers exactly the areas we need for this inter interdisciplinary project. So this is a prototype battery extender auxiliary power unit that we've developed on the Jakarti funding. Basically, we have the fuel cell system, which is here, and it's running from a tank of hydrogen gas, which is the fuel. The fuel cell is a way of producing efficient, clean electrical energy from a chemical reaction, in this case, between hydrogen and oxygen. We're going to provide hydrogen as the fuel, and we're going to convert the hydrogen into clean electrical energy. And it's very clean. The exhaust is simply water. Uh, the state of Washington considers fuel cell power as a renewable and green power. On an international flight, there's a big demand for energy about two hours after takeoff because that's when the hot meals are provided. So there'd be an extra boost required from the electrical power generation systems, and that would include the fuel cell. This shows the voltage that we are providing to our load. Again, the load could be the coffee maker, could be in-flight entertainment system. And this graph over here is a measure of the power that we are drawing from the, from the batteries. Now, when I turn on the load, when I switch on the coffee maker, you see the current changes, but I was able to maintain the same voltage on the bus. That's exactly the type of voltage, the type of power quality you want to provide because you want it to be very constant regardless of the actual amount of power that you require. The technology that they're working on is very promising. What we have here is a small mock-up of an airplane galley. So these are the items that you'd find in a galley. So as part of our demonstration, we're gonna show you how our combined fuel cell battery extender auxiliary power unit can be used to operate a simple galley system. So we're gonna make some hot coffee. This JKT project gave me at least opportunity to think about the problem from different angles and try to think about solutions, not just using my expertise, but think about the other expertise that we, are, uh, that we have as a team. And I think that often leads to new solutions.
So where should that be? Do you want to put that automation? Where should that be? For a student, this is new experience because uh, an average student will be exposed to one area. If I'm an electrical engineering student, I learn electrical engineering. But in this particular case, it's multidisciplinary, which means the student work as a team and then learn from each other. The student involvement is really critical to our success. But the system that we are, that's going in, like aircraft system or any other system that we want to study, that is being modeled and simulated on these devices. And connecting all these devices together to look like a real aircraft system, those things is being done by students here. As part of the Jakarti project, I am responsible for modeling and simulating an actual aircraft. It is not possible to test all your ideas in an actual aircraft. So you need some kind of a simulation or an emulated aircraft in which you need to test your ideas. So what we do is we use some sophisticated technology using uh, computers and super processors like, and we emulate an actual aircraft. Could you check the connections? This is a, a platform where students can be part of research, they can get some real world experience and they're talking to the customer, they're talking to the company and that type of interaction isn't something that most graduate students usually get. Yes, I have applied for internships or jobs based on this experience and I have been hearing positive feedback from my employers about working with actual aircraft systems so I think it's a great um, you know, bullet point in my resume. Eventually, our hope is that we can use our BAPU technology to power a uh, more critical component of airplanes. For sure, it's a very good feeling to see that such a big, big project is ongoing, and I'm a part of that. I think this is the future trajectory of the aerospace industry. I mean, if this technology really works, it would be a big deal. It's the potential for reduced fuel burn, and that's what, you know, efficiency is, here, is all about in the airplane. As a professor, you go about your daily business. You don't get to work with your colleagues uh, that much. And this project, Jakarti project, provides a wonderful network, a structure that brings the people together, and you learn from each other and you work to get together to achieve the common goal. So I think that is really a wonderful thing.